Andy is in his favourite spot. Hey son! Yeah, every time the back door's open, he sits on that top step, just looking about himself. Don't ya? Hey, by the way, And here's the update on the terrace. So, he's pretty much got rid of all the concrete, just a little bit along there. And that is what was under it, just the, the three little rooms. We were going to put a time capsule in and Jack was like, um, where are you putting it? And I said, under the deck, and he went, but that's going to be open, you're going to be able to walk under there with it. Ah, okay, <laughs> maybe not. Um, well, not walk under, it will not be that high, but there'll just be chuckies under there. So yeah, doing well, my dad was helping when Jack was working, so between them they're doing a grand job. Only about quarter past seven in the morning. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, tell everybody how you enjoyed your weekend. Good. I'm going to go get something I'll show you. Okay. She got a medal for the orienteering. How good is that? Yay, they came first. She was really chuffed for that. She had a fantastic time. I know a lot of you were asking. You got what? Cam cream. Cam cream? Oh, that's cool. Of the corporal. Yeah. It does kind of look like the cat's pooed in your <laughs> mirror. <laughs> That is cool. Why did you get that? Because it was even, so we had a bunch of freebies. Oh, that's cool. Very good. Yeah, you had a fab time, didn't you? You didn't get back till about half past nine on Saturday night. It's not for eating, Hades. Right, what are you doing with your shirt? It's half tucked in and half out. <laughs> We're taking it out, okay. <laughs> Can you tell she's had a shower? Have you brushed her hair? No. Hurry up and brush it. It's time for school. Oh. <laughs> He's back. Good, Good boy. boy. Brooke, you seriously won't need that jacket. It's going to be roasting. I'll take it just in Okay. Right, He's hurry up. Back. Good boy. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of September, and as you saw, that's Brooke just away to school. So I've been up and organised, done all my morning routine, so I thought I would come on and say hello to you lovely people and start the vlog. Today I have finally got my appointment with the neurology consultant about possibly getting injections into the base of my skull, which sounds awful, um, but apparently it can stop the headache, which is what I want. Um, so I thought I would take you with me, obviously not into the appointment, but I can tell you everything that happens. Um, Granny Annie is wanting to go to the appointment with me. So Wednesday she goes back to Falkirk for her line dancing classes, to teach her classes. So the plan is that my dad is going to take, well the plan was that my dad was going to take me and my mum to the hospital, have the appointment and then we're going to take my mum to Falkirk and then come back here. But a lovely viewer of mine, I can't remember your YouTube name, is it White Turbo Star, maybe? I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, told me that Poundland have opened a huge new shop in Brayhead. And I was like, ooh, because the one thing that Brayhead was missing was the Poundland. They used to have it and then they closed it down. So I'm excited about that. So I said to my mum, do you think we can persuade Dad to go early so that we can go to Poundland? Because apparently it's right next to the works. <laughs> My two favourite shops. Well, apart from Timu, but that goes without saying. That's online. Um, so, and then we'll maybe have a bit of lunch and try. Oh, we'll have a word with him. So he's going to do that. Yay. So we're going to leave here about 10. And uh, Jack will be here for the dog. So I don't need to worry about them. I'm going to go to Brayhead, go to the works on Poundland, have some lunch. I don't know where yet. We might go to Stack and Still again, the pancake place, I'm not sure. Um, and then head to Falkirk and God knows what time I'll get back here. But we'll see. I've just dropped something, something that I had on my knee to remind me to tell you about. So I'll tell you about it in a second. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day, fingers crossed. Hopefully the consultant agrees that I can get the injections, but he won't be doing it today, I don't think. I think it's just like uh, telling me about it finding out if I'm suitable and then it'll probably be another nine months before I get the appointment. Hold on till I pick that thing up. The tablets, I am due to go up to the highest dosage tomorrow. Um, so far they've not helped the headaches. That's two weeks that I've been on them. And um, yeah, I'm kind of starting to think that it's not going to happen. But you never know. 
you never know. Anyway, the thing that I've got on my knee so I remember to show you is, I sort Brooke's bag for her in the morning, her school bag. Yes, she should be doing it herself, but it's less stress for me and her if I know that I've done it and everything's there that she needs. Because she stresses out as she gets to school and realises she's forgotten something. Anyway, when I was sorting her bag, what did I find? Not only is it an advent calendar, it's an empty advent calendar. I was like, what? She went, yeah, Morrison's had them out, so I got that for my lunch. That child, I don't know. So yeah, she's had them out. I went, that must be bad luck. I said, because having the calendar, you know, on the wrong month and things like that. Oh, I need to change mine as well, September now. Um, that's supposed to be bad luck. She went, oh, no. <laughs> we'll see, hopefully not. But yeah, Morrison's have got their advent calendars out. She did say it's only dairy milk, so I don't know whether it's maybe so, some of last year's stock, a bit like what Asla's been doing, but it's in date until March 24. So yeah. Anyway, I just thought I would show you that. What else did I have to tell you? Oh, yeah. I had a team order arrive yesterday. Yay! So that's what I'm going to do this morning before I head out with my mum and dad. I'm going to get a team order filmed. Team order? A team haul filmed. <sighs> There's quite a few still to come. I know I'm sorry if you don't enjoy them, but... I just love Timu and I get so excited when I'm opening it and finding out what I've got because I genuinely can't remember. So I do like to film it. If you don't, if you really, really hate it, just don't watch. But you never know, you might get some good ideas for different things. I think the next few orders that are coming aren't really crafty. There might be a couple of craft things in them, but it's mostly clothes because I realised that we go on holiday next month and I've not got any clothes to take <laughs> so I went on Timu and ordered some and the reason it's so many orders is I actually split the one order into two so that I could get more fish food to fish to fish my feet to feed my fish on Timu I'm still trying to get blooming freebies it's not exactly free now that with the amount of money I've spent on orders but I would have been spending that anyway Right, I'm going to head off. I am going to do this, film this Timu haul, and then I'll come back to you later on. So I have, what's that? Oh my God. But the, re the reviews are always so much better. So, <laughs> so I've just filmed my Timu haul and Abby made a cameo appearance. She turned up for it. Um, so yeah, look out for that haul because it's even more of a disaster than my normal ones are. No, oh, look at better. Clyde. It's bad. It's chaotic. Yeah. It's crazy like us. So yeah, Abby's here, but we've we've got a bit of a divide in this household. Sheen. Timu. Timu is for money launderers. No, they're the same company. I'm convinced they're the same company. They've got the same products. They come in the same wrapping. Anyway, she's Team Sheehan. Oh, my God. Look at them. <laughs> and I am Team Timu, obviously. Look at Molly wanting to play. Um, so she's just ordered a lot on Sheehan the other day. So she's asking if you would like to see a Timu at a Sheehan haul. Oh, my God. Look. <laughs> um... Would the you... reviews. Look, that is one angry dog. That looks like Molly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. It's a... like... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, she's asking if you would like a Sheehan haul. Would it be you doing it or me doing it? Or both? Both you. of us. Both of us. Would I be saying it and you be modelling? No, I wouldn't even... I don't think I'll put it... I I'll put some of it on because not a lot of it's clothes. No, true. So... Well, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll do it together. That'll be fun. So if you would like to see a Sheehan haul in the next couple of weeks, let us know. You're a Raj. You are such a Raj. Look at the tail. It's just a smallish haul and it was craft. It wasn't the clothes that I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's still to come. <laughs> Different angle. Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> Look at it, jeez. Ooh, do you think there's a body buried under there? <laughs> what a difference there. Jeez, oh. I know. Look at our doors. We've got curtains up now. Right. Well, the hard bit's a bit away. Yep. The easy bit's new. Mm-hmm. Here they see Leah. What are you trying to play? Oh, you're not coming. You don't fit in that car. <laughs> oh, dear. Roy! <laughs> How many big dogs can you get in a cougar? <laughs> Caucasian shepherd! <laughs> oh, oh, you're a perfect fit! One sausage <laughs> There's Granny Annie! Yeah, you got all your stuff for folk I hope so. Cool. Can you mind what I've done with some Oh, bit, right, you two, you're not coming! <laughs> <laughs> you want a bet? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I take it you said the magic word! I oh, mean, you had to say it about a dozen times! <laughs> We were young and we were free and running Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you Hot up there, Costa there, and we are going to the Costa. I was accosted by a goat. You were accosted by a goat? Uh -huh. Oh, you'll Standing make... the queue and it went. It blew on you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Same like, same as um, the centre. It was my face. Look, look, look. Yeah, that's right, this way, Dad. Again. And then we've got skinny fries, cake in season. Look at the dirty fries. He's made his What are you going for? Smoked salmon and avocado. Oh, that sounds nice. Smoked salmon and avocado. Oh, avocado. So cool. What orange, raspberry and ginger. So cool. Just go. Will I open it? It better be nice. It's like four quid for that can. Just kidding, That's right. about 350, 375. Oh, and it's no fizz. That's bizarre. <laughs> Give it a try. Give it a try. Mm. Is it strong? <laughs> My girls are drunk. You're going to taste it. Is it quite bland? Oh, lovely, thank you. No taste. No taste? It's wet. Mmm. Would I recommend it? <laughs> that was a luxury hot chocolate. No, the cream's yes. gone. Got some Cajun skinny oh. fries. It's healthy. Look at that, that's a wee omelette that's on that as well. Cheese and chive omelette. Avocado, oh. salmon and creme fraiche. That looks good. Look at that, strawberry cheesecake. Oh, wonderful, thank you. Oh. Strawberry cheesecake stack, that's a full meringue. And you've got the banana one. Yes, nice. With mascarpone. Mascarpone. That's how you hide a horse. <laughs> Can I open it? Just it. It's a lovely day for once. We're having an Indian summer. We're getting summer in September. Is it October if it's an Indian summer? I don't, no, know. I don't know. All I know is that the kids are back at school and now we're getting a nice weather. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous new building and look where the neurology gets stuck. <laughs> the helipad. Ah, 
Much, much later. Hello, that was quick. I've got things for you. Oh, good, good. good. I brought Dad. I brought Dad into account. I know uh. Granddad eats anything. Uh huh. So it doesn't matter if you, you or Dad like it. I've got an iced fruit slice. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I love it. Iced fruit slice, fruit scone, and a plain scone that are big. Check the size of them. Oh wow. <laughs> also, also have something for you to try. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey Molly! He cried! Hello! Hello! What have you ripped up today, Hades? Has <laughs> Brooke got food? Has she? Has <laughs> Brooke got food? Good morning! It is now Thursday. And uh, yeah, I thought I would leave it till this morning to end the vlog because you know what I'm like at that time of day. And yeah, it was a good day yesterday. We had a good wander around Poundland and the works. I've got some bits that I've not even unpacked the bag yet, so I'll show you when I'm unpacking it. Um, we went to Stack and Still for lunch, which was amazing. But we need to remember not to get a three stack. It's called a short stack because it's way too much, but it was so tasty. Expensive though, it was £61 for the three of us. Ouch. Um, but we don't do it often, so it was worth it. Um, we headed to the hospital. We were an hour early um, because my dad panics. You can't get parked very well there. And in fact, when we were actually in at the clinic, my dad said that he witnessed a massive argument that nearly ended up in punch-ups because of parking. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so yeah, we, we decided just to go in early in case we got taken early. As it turned out, it was 15 minutes late. <laughs> so we were in there for about an hour and a half going, oh. Um, and by that time, my head was thumping. That's the time that I'm usually in my bed. My head was so sore. I felt sick. I was tired. I was sitting there like that. Um, but the I didn't like the consultant either. I don't know if he was a consultant, actually. I don't think he is. Um, it wasn't the main man. It was somebody else. And I was not impressed with him at all. My mum said exactly the same. We've, we've seen so many people over the last few years with my health that you can tell the good ones and the bad ones. He was a bad one. But anyway, he eventually started listening to me. He was kind of poo-pooing everything that I said. Oh, yeah, you've got a headache. Um, until I basically said word for word what my main consultant neurologist said. And he went, oh, right. And he actually started listening to me. So the outcome is he has given me a prescription for a different tablet. So I go up to the highest dose of the Indi medicine today and I'll give that a few days. If it's still not helping, he said, just stop it. And he's given me a prescription for risotriptan, res which um, apparently you take on the onset of a migraine. I think we've already established it's not migraine, but hey-ho. Um, and he says, you know, at the time when it starts to get really unbearably sore that you need to go to bed, take one of them and hopefully it'll help. But I have also been booked in for the injection. And it doesn't sound as bad as I thought it was. The, um, I had been told it was like injections into the base of your skull, but it's not. It's in your neck and it's a nerve blocker. And it goes into, I think it's the optic nerve or some kind of optic nerve that is right beside the headache place. So it basically blocks the pain signal. That's how it's supposed to work. He says, you get, I'll get two a few months apart. And if that works, then we'll carry on. If it doesn't work, then we'll need to look at something else. But I don't think he's got another solution. Um, so I actually was told that I could get my appointments there and then which makes a huge difference because you know you're not getting lost in a paper trail so I'm getting my injection on the 13th of November and it's a nurse who does it which I think is brilliant she's a specialist nurse and I just love the fact that nurses are getting so, so much more experience and autonomy and what's the word 
they're getting to specialise more in certain things that only doctors would have done in the past. Um, so that's that. And then I've got a phone appointment with him again in six months' time. So I feel like things are moving. I was kind of hoping that I would get the injections before we go on holiday. And I realised we've still not told you about the holiday. I promise I will tell you in my next vlog what the holiday is, where we're going and things. Um, but yeah, I, I was kind of hoping it would be before then because I don't want to be feeling the way I did yesterday when I'm away. Um, and it's not just like a caravan holiday that I can go and lie down. So, yeah, but never mind. At least I know I'm getting it. And so after that, took my mum back to Falkirk. I slept most of the way to Falkirk and then halfway home. Then we got back to Helens, but I picked Abby up from her work, came home, uh, said a quick hello to Brooke and went straight to my bed. Because <laughs> that's how I was feeling. But uh, yeah, today is a new day, so I'm up and at them. I've got another uh, Timu haul to film. The one that I filmed yesterday was was crafted. I didn't think it would be, but it was. And I've got one today and I've got another one coming tomorrow. And I know that they are mostly clothes for my holiday. So it's going to be a different kind of haul. Um, yeah. But let me quickly show you, as I'm unpacking the bag, what we got yesterday. I won't show you the mundane things. In the works, I got a lovely slate tile. I'll change this out for ribbon and have something Christmassy on it. Um, that was £2. It was, oh no, it wasn't reduced. I thought that was reduced. This was Poundland, Brook Love G's Kit Kat Bites with Bisco. Yum. This was Poundland, a, va a vase or a vase, whatever way you want to say it. I have got something in mind that I'm going to have to get another team order for, for doing this. Um, it, this was £2 and I hope it works because... From what I've seen, I've seen people on TikTok do stuff and it looks amazing. I got a frame from Poundland because Brooke's got another certificate from the cadets. When she got her one star badge, she got a certificate as well. So I got another frame for that. She wants it framed. I, didn't, I never bothered framing things like that. I think the ones that I kept, probably just my high school and my degree, are in a tin somewhere. <laughs> um trying to peanut butter Kit Kats for Brooke. I thought this was cute. This was from uh, Poundland as well. A pumpkin melt, so it's a hot chocolate bomb um, for Halloween. So I've got that for Brooke. I've got some lights from Poundland. Look at those string lights. I'm hearing a funny noise. Hades! I don't know if he's locked himself in the bathroom again. Hold on. I wondered why it was so quiet. Yes, he had locked himself in the bathroom. He does it all the time. He goes in, but the door automatically closes. Hugo used to do it as well. He's just too big now. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I got these lights out of Poundland. I think they were a pound. And it's little Christmas tree shapes. I thought I'd like to be able to do something with that. I got a bottle stopper um, light. Tell me you've not went back in there. Hades. Hades. Oh no he hasn't, there he has. What were you doing? Were you seeing if there was any breakfast left? Afraid not. Um, yeah, this is a pack of two of the bottle stopper lights and um, yeah, they, that was a pound I think. Look at this from the works. I don't know if it's meant to be a lantern or a bird feeder or what it's meant to be but I've got some good ideas. This was reduced. It was £5 down to £2.50. And uh, no, it's not wood for you to play with Hades. And yeah, I've got some good ideas how to turn this into a lovely lantern. Also from the works, I've got some little silver brush trees. Some little holly leaves and berries. My mum got these from the works for her boxes. Lovely diamond snowflakes. <laughs> My mum got this for Jack from the pound shop for Christmas. It's a bottomless wine glass. It's basically a like a bottle stopper with a glass on top. So you put it straight into the bottle of wine and then drink. <laughs> but it was hilarious. Um, oh, we got some nice glitters from the works. Look at these. Oh, you can't really see it. So they were a pound each and they've got a really good nozzle on them for 
like applying it rather than the big open mouth and it goes everywhere. I got that gorgeous colour, it's like a bronzy gold copper and my mum got some silver. They were a pound each which isn't bad actually. Some little deer, um, felt deer sticky copper things. Look how cute these are. Oh, you can't really see it. It's little tiny Santas and little sicker head things. We'll find something for them. They were a pound as well. I got a couple of bags of glittery sequins. Got Christmas trees and some deer. These lights from Poundland as well. Look, Santas! Yee, Santa and Rudolph. Oh, Mum got more of those ones. We got some batteries. Some baby wipes for crafting because I always make a mess. Oh, I forgot to tell Brooke I got this for her, for the Poundland, from Poundland as well. It's a charger for a phone that was on 50 because she's always breaking her characters. My mum got some antihistamines because she keeps sneezing and she doesn't know what it is. Um, whoopsie. You okay? What have you got? Come here, Hades. That is what is left of my foam paintbrush. Right, mister. He loves wood and sticks. Hold on. I don't even know where he picked it up from. Look. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah, so you're not getting this. My mum got six of these. It's Duke Santa sacks. And it's huge. They were a pound. Absolutely brilliant because she saw it and she was like, I'll wait and get them in the sale in January. And she went, actually, they're only a pound. Yeah, so I think that's everything. Yep, that was everything that we picked up yesterday, so it was really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head off now and get all this stuff put away, get Brooke out to school, she's getting ready just now, and then I will film the Timu haul that's here, and I'll need to do another one tomorrow. I do apologise. Um, right, Hades, look, I'm looking for some, something else, look at that. Hades, there's nothing else. They have got a tub full and overflowing the toys in the living room. But he's just like, no, I don't want my toys. I want your toys. Right, anyway, I'm going to head off. I promise I will tell you in the next vlog what the holiday is all about because I'm not planning to go anywhere over the weekend. So it will just be a stay-at-home chatty vlog. So I will tell you all about it then. Thank you so much for watching this. If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to me in the comments below and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!